Hello everyone, welcome to another classic Dalek figure review. This time we're looking at the city administrator from the novelisation of the Dalek's master plan and the chief technician Dalek from the novelisation of the chase. This is going to be quite a quick one guys, obviously these are quite basic customs but I just wanted to cover them so that you had uh, an overview of these characters and a bit of history. So these two Daleks came about when I was planning to do a recreation of some of the scenes from the Dalek Master Plan novel. Uh, I bought the CD, the Dalek Menace box set, and in that box set uh, Nicholas Briggs is the Dalek voices. And uh, with that and additional sound effects, the combination's really immersive. You feel like you're kind of listening to an alternative version of, a, of one of the sequences in the missing episodes. And for the chase, there's additional scenes that aren't in the TV serial, uh, which again just feel like it kind of fleshes out the story and gives you an alternative take on those scenes, often with really colourful descriptions of things that didn't quite look as they did on TV. Uh, so what I was planning to do in September 2018 I was planning to recreate a few of the scenes in the Dalek Master Plan novel and possibly a few in the chase and basically rebuild the sets as they appeared on TV um, and recreate them with the Dalek figures in 5 inch scale. So obviously I already have the red Dalek from the Mutation of Time and the black Supreme Dalek from the Dalek's Master Plan as they were, that was officially released. Um, but then throughout both the novels, references made repeatedly to a uh, city administrator Dalek and a chief technician Dalek in the chase and especially for scenes towards the end um, it's mentioned they're both mentioned quite a few times and I wanted to basically give these Daleks a different visual distinction because obviously if I'm doing these scenes as recreations there'll be no narrator to signify the role of that particular Dalek. So I thought about what they might have done in the 60s Obviously, I could have gone for something a bit more complicated with these designs, but as the Daleks themselves aren't described in the novel as being visually different, uh, I didn't want to stray too far from what a standard drone Dalek looked like and what I thought they might do in the 60s, so just recolouring a dome, which obviously they did do in Evil, uh, seemed like quite a viable option. And for some reason I thought that the white dome, I thought that a white dome on the Dalek might signify a kind of administrative role. So I gave him a white dome, and the chief technician, I gave a blue dome because I thought that it seemed realistic given that the Daleks already have blue spots. And actually it's quite nice, it's quite distinctive looking, it's quite a shiny blue. Um, whereas the matte's like a more typical 60s matte uh, finish. So they're nice, they're both quite different, um, but they do go together as a pair as well. As it turned out, the master plan recreation that I was planning to do, I ended up scrapping that in favour of working on more original scripts. So I did, uh, I think straight after that master plan was scrapped, I started working on the um, squad briefing. And in that script, I wrote both those Daleks into the script so that I would use them. So the city administrator has quite a prominent role in that movie. And the chief technician also is in that film as well. So yeah, so to make these two Daleks, I basically just detached the domes and took the eyes out and sprayed the dome in matte white for the administrator and dark blue for the technician. And I can imagine fitting in quite nicely alongside the other canon Daleks from the Dalek Master Plan uh, because they go quite nicely with the Supreme Dalek and alongside the other drones from that story. Obviously neither of them have a red dome so they don't clash with the red Dalek either. Uh, so it's quite nice to have kind of the black one, the red one in second in command and then blue one for the chief technician and the white dome, which stands out against all of the 60s Daleks, because there aren't any other 60s Daleks with white domes. So yeah, so it makes him quite unique. Thanks for watching this review, guys. Obviously, yeah, like I said, just a quick one, um, but I hope you've enjoyed this series as a whole, and there will be more coming in future if I end up making more customs or buying more, which is probably likely, but I won't make any promises for now. Stay safe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.